So how would this person in text two most likely respond to the discussion in text one? So what does text one say? Africa's Sahara region, Sahara Sahara region, once a lush ecosystem, began to dry out about 8,000 years ago. A change in Earth's orbit that affected climate has been posited or put forth as a potential cause of desertification. This is not the creation of deserts, but the process by which deserts, deserts, one S, are created. But archaeologist David Wright also attributes the shift to Neolithic peoples. He cites their adoption of pastoralism as a factor in the region drying out. It should, I think, say regions drying out. But anyway, the pastoralists' livestock depleted vegetation, prompting the events that created the Sahara Desert. People caused desert. Okay, really, really simple way of summarizing it. Not even grammatical. They caused the desert to form. The activities of people and their livestock prompted the events that led to the Sahara Desert's formation. Um, pastoralists, what does this mean? Well, this is a good word to know, pastoral, at least the adjective, because it can often be used to describe, I don't know, certain kinds of literature or music. But I think the uh, common root here is, well, pasture. And I'm sure there is a root, uh, you know, that there is an, a common origin here. So pastoral, pasture, they're related. Basically, it means that, you know, hey, they're using livestock, breeding livestock that feeds on the, you know, plants, you know, the grass, etc., that makes up the pasture. Um, but that's really the gist of text one. And so how would the author of text two, or how would researcher... Chris Beerley, described in text to respond to this. Chris Brierly, not Beerley. So research by Chris Brierly and others and colleagues challenges the idea that Neolithic people contributed to the Sahara's desertification. And so, no, they didn't. Okay, but we want to know why they said that, so we'll read the rest of it. Using a climate vegetation model, I guess that's a model that incorporates both climate and vegetation factors. The team concluded that the end of the region's humid period occurred 500 years earlier than previously assumed. The timing suggests that Neolithic peoples didn't exacerbate or worsen aridity. What is arid? Well, if something is arid, it's really, really dry. Deserts are described as arid quite often. So this process of desertification can't be pinned on the Neolithic people because they came along later. So the end of the region's humid period occurred earlier, so you can't blame it on these people because maybe they didn't start, um, you know, having their livestock graze until, until much later after these changes had already started to take place. And then it says they may have actually helped delay environmental changes with practices that preserve vegetation. No, they, so they didn't cause it, and they may have even uh, slowed the process. Slowed it. Okay, terrible grammar, but I hope you can forgive me. Any annotations done during a test are really just for the person taking the test, although given that you all are watching, I do at least try to be a little clearer than I would be if I were just doing it for my own uh, you know, test-taking purposes. So, answer choice A, by claiming that pastoralism was only one of many behaviors the Neolithic peoples took part in. And so, no, because the author of the second passage, or the, the researcher cited in the second passage, wants to say that they're not so guilty as they're made out to be by the uh, first passage. By insisting that pastoralism can have both beneficial and deleterious or harmful effects on a region's vegetation and climate. Potentially tempting, but... That's not really the focus of the second passage. And I don't think that the second passage says anything about harmful effects of, of pastoralism. I think it says that they may have helped delay 
environmental changes with practice says that preserve vegetation so not going to be b by asserting that more research needs to be conducted into factors that likely contributed to the desertification well i mean on the face of it i don't think you would disagree with that but that's not that's not the the gist of the second passage because you know he he would point to his own research and say look i did this research that um, challenges this view put forth in text one so he's not going to turn around and say you need to do more research i think he would say you need to listen to to me and pay attention to the research that I and my colleagues have done. So by pointing out that given the revised timeline for the end of the Sahara's humid period, the Neolithic people's mode of subsistence, basically surviving, growing enough food to survive or finding enough food to survive, likely didn't cause the region's desertification. And so stepping back, we've got this really, really simplistic summary of the first passage and equally simplistic summary of the second passage but that's really all we need here there they didn't cause desertification contrary to what the first passage would say so our answer to this one will be d